All right, you guys, we're live. I'll be uh, on in a minute. Marcus is going to show some simulations. I'm going to sit back down. I don't know the exact screen configuration I'm going to have yet that'll work, so just adjust on the fly. I imagine we'll want more of the screen and less of the video. So I guess, does the box have a tail now? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the agent. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't done any more character art. Oh, that's, 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 probably <laughs> non-trivial to have a tail that's waving on. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it just you sticks can, out. You can draw the box. Is everybody here, okay? Triangle. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably I can hear anyway. if I keep working on these. Get at this space. But oh, that, that's space. probably the only uh, thing I'll do. Is it too loud? Tail uh, tree. <laughs> I guess that would be good. It's not necessary. It's totally not necessary. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll create a chair for it. No, no, no don't do it because I said, I was just joking. Then you'll definitely need it. I was just, I was just <laughs> taking you guys the one thing you might have said. Yeah, uh, yeah here I'm just going to show, um, uh, I'll show uh, that head direction cells have path independence uh, as they move around, even if they go upside down uh, and under this model. Uh, so, so is it the in, under, upside down thing that's new here? Is that what you're saying? That's part of it. I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little. I'll, sh I'll show a couple things of what happens when it goes upside down. I mean, just like qu quick review before I showed, before I basically demonstrated that uh, that the updates happen as we expect. The head direction yeah. updates as we expect. It, it matches our expected behavior. Uh, that's just a quick review of what I had before. Uh, I'll fix that later. Uh, now, um, this result, I didn't know what would happen. I don't know. I didn't know if it would work. I'll, sh I'll show. Oh, you did show this last time. So, well, what I just showed, I'd showed before. But yeah. this, um, what I'm going to show here, what, what, what just happened is, um, is uh, that, uh, and I am sharing my screen right now, Matt. Yeah, you can, you can see it. Um, the agent is starting at a certain orientation. Then it's performing a series of random rotations, then coming back to a start point. And you want to have it the same orientation. I want the phase to end up exactly where it started. Okay. But when it, that wasn't that exhibited in the previous one. Uh, I, it was. It was essentially exhibited. Uh, you could infer that this that this property was true from the previous demo, yeah. but you could only you only knew it for the top half of the oh, place. I see. I see. Uh, here I'm even letting so it's like the assumption before it kind of the part we did see did do with that and we yeah. expected to yeah uh yeah. this this I didn't know if this would work if letting it go upside down and take different paths going underneath okay. it still reliably was, ends yeah, up okay. at, at the uh at the starting orientation so that's nice that these formulas uh provide something that works somehow uh so I wanted to get a sense of of well what happens when it's upside down how did how does something coherent even happen um so first, the boring demo is that like the traditional rules still apply. The typical rules still apply. Like here, you're gonna watch it first rotate about gravity, yeah. and then it's gonna yaw rotate. Yeah. Uh, both of those still do what you would expect them to do. Um, but now the weird stuff that happens down at the bottom is kind of this. I, I, I called it a slingshot effect. But as this takes these other rotations that kind of kind of go adjacent to the bottom the the phase will just some, take these uh the, these uh, how's this different than the previous one is it just you, combining the two at the same time um yes or uh, yeah that, that i mean before you had it going to the bottom rotating yeah uh, so this is just doing them all simultaneously yeah. yeah yeah when it does them simultaneously then you get these kinds of effect of effects mm -hmm. um and um, this kind of effects meaning what? If you look at the head direction, so yeah, yeah, it just, like, just that it does that. Yeah. Oh, and, and just to demonstrate oh, oh, that, watch it again. Yeah, like, yeah, so it's like a nonlinear thing. It, it goes around and goes. Loose. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and um, and there's not a similar. Um, I'll I'll show uh, the same rotation at the top. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of what I talked to you a while back about um, my personal introspection. At times, like I was trying to imagine where's a, which direction a door is in, and then you, at some point you're rotating around and it flips to the other side. Right? Right. It's like which way? Would, it's like the answer was like which way do I have to turn to get to the door? And um, 
this reminds me that at some point you say, oh no, it's no longer that way, it's this way. And it like, it, it like flips around. It's sort of like what you're showing here, I think, isn't it? It's like a, yeah, though, a little bit, though I think what you're saying um, is an alternate way to get this to work. Oh. That you could add a third, okay, right now there are two update rules. Rotating about gravity, rotating yeah. about your own z-axis. Yeah. Um, that would add, I, I think to get, what you're saying means, at a certain point when you're flipping upside down, you suddenly like reverse everything. Uh, the, it's possible that there's it's a... It's kind of like what's happening here, isn't it? It's like it's that, that really very fast spin around, isn't it sort of like... But that? that fast spin around is only happening when you get like to the very bottom, uh, whereas... Uh, yeah. yeah, but that's... that the deep in the very bottom, imagine now my gravity vector is a door with my arc on the side. And so as I'm turning like this, I'm basically turning upside down oh. to the gravity vector. Okay. And at some point here, my sense of which way to go, like do I turn this way or turn this way, it goes like, no, it's this way. Oh, that might be the right Yeah, you know? It's like the gravity vector is the door as opposed to, and okay. that's on my back is to the door. Okay. I think it might be the same thing. Yeah. It's just, it's just a, a casual introspection way of yeah. sort of, so I was kind of pleased to see a little like spin there. It's like, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's like the, if I was a rat saying, which way would I go now? I'll flip around that way. And the other boring little demo I was just to demonstrate was the same rotation about the top that, that runs up against the North Pole doesn't have that kind of singularity. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just show this one more time, then move on. Um, and the, the final thing I'll show is, well, now if I take, I'll just show you it, then explain it. Yeah, singularity is pretty good, that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, in, in, in this context. We just got rid of singularity. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so now I'm showing a single, this is essentially um, a single head directions. <laughs> that vector is really funny. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's just a JavaScript structure. That, that's called an HA. Sue ties a king the, of puns the, and This dad particular jokes. library has a, an really attribute funny. called HA. <laughs> anyway. I was going to ask, how do you I don't, even, I don't even see it because to me it's just code. But uh, so um, here I'm showing this essentially the tuning of a single head direction cell. At the top, when the rat's at the top of this globe, uh, the head direct the the cell will fire when the rat's facing that direction. When it's at the side, it'll be this direction, etc. Well, well, uh, uh, well you know, which way it's it's facing it. on that direction, um, right? So the head direction cell fires if the rat is facing this direction. Well, oh, I see, I see, I see. So and just maintain like this the, is a, this the top is, this is, is a particular cell. Yeah, a particular well, a cell. Particular cell in the, in the ring activate. Yeah. Um, here I'm essentially just replicating what they had in the paper. The t uh, the top half of this globe is basically replicating mm -hmm. their paper. Um, the bottom half is goofy. Um, yeah. So like, what kind of happens here is is you if you go straight down into the south pole then uh, so it, that'd be this line of arrows then yeah. it's consistent like the, the okay. north cell stays active yeah. but but any other angle into it causes just silly things to happen um and the last thing i got this working five minutes before this meeting so this yeah. this next one isn't very pretty uh but um so i wanted to say okay now if i start at a certain point like this is the north pole this is 30 degrees off the north pole and i follow my north head direction cell what path do I take? Um, and this this one, um, if you start from the North Pole, it, it circles around the globe. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are basically sink down into this hole of um, of basically getting stuck <laughs> down here. Um, there's a little bit of room for you, you can see that I had to simulate this. This looks a little like a fractal. Uh, I, I want to just double check that something different doesn't happen when I simulate it. Like you know, a, a 10 million st steps per second or something. Yeah. But ooh, uh, I just oh. lost some. <laughs> yeah. um, so like and a fractal. Well, yeah, that's, but clearly uh, and these cells can't really resolve this resolution. Right. This is like uh, right. Right here, yeah. Anyway, I, the the point is, is at this point, the the um the resolution is yeah. Uh, this kind of an artifact, but um, yeah. So anyway, that's just giving a sense, like okay, that this isn't necessarily a useful question of what happens if I follow my north head direction yeah. cell, yeah. but I just wanted to know. Uh, yeah. I, I wanted to know, like if if you if you follow these arrows, follow that path to the next arrow, yeah. to the next arrow, to the next arrow. Turns out everything leads to the South Pole, and only one path to the South Pole you, will you ever escape it. Uh huh. Okay.
position. Just so, and this could be the beginning of all kinds of you know uh, screwy theories about like you know singularities and, <laughs> and time holes and time warps. You know, <laughs> if you go north, you end up in this singularity. <laughs> anyway, it's very cool. So anyway, the, the the real thing here that like like I wanted to see these. I I wanted to know what this looked like. The um so I guess where I really learned something here was first of all I didn't know what this was going to look like on the bottom, yeah. um and second of all I had no idea if the path independence would would work on the bottom. Uh, so the fact that this returns back to its starting point even when it goes down to the bottom, I I part of me thought like there's no way that'll work, but it does, yeah. uh, and and it has to do with the um oddness around the singularity. Of course, in, a real, in a real system, this is going to be uh, constantly updated by sensory input, right? So, uh, so the path integration is a, is a property we expect for both the orientation and the, and the linear the metric grid cells. But we know that in reality, it's not going to be good. Um, so this is mathematically pure. Um, but, but in the real world, something is going to be constantly getting sensory input and trying to guess, you know, Re anchoring, I guess, in some sense, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, so it's it's kind of cool that it works like this, but in, uh, in a practical system, it's going to be a little bit more um, um, less mathematical about it. It's going to be constantly anchoring and saying, "Where am I?" Uh, one other, just quick note, I'll point out. Um, so the singularity. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm at the South Pole. How about that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> The, uh, the oddness of the South Pole. Um, it can be uh, the question of why does it happen at the South Pole but not the North Pole. Yeah. Um, the answer to why that is is um, so when you're, uh, I can choose how much level of detail to go into on this. Um, when you're at these angles near a pole, um, you're in these situations where this number and this number can be large. Uh, both of them. Um, both of the like, this will be suddenly spinning quickly, and this will suddenly be spinning quickly. Sorry, I can't get a better. Camera. When you're on the North Pole, they cancel out. Their signs are opposite of mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. And when you're on the South Pole, they don't cancel out. Why are they changing rapidly at the pole? I've kind of lost my bearings on this picture. Yeah, um, it's. In, I, I haven't really made that case before. There are ways. To... I'm not even sure what this picture represents versus the North and the South Pole anymore. This is. Uh, okay. Uh, there's my little my little critter, and I can think about its three directions of well, I forget now what the difference between the two. Uh, I forget what this figure is. I guess. Hey, hey yeah, Marcus, so, uh, what do you say? Maybe you could share your webcam. Sure. Yeah, I'll switch to. Uh, yeah, I'll just unplug this webcam. That's the webcam. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll. Yep. Uh, so, I mean, this picture, um, this axis is yaw, the, yeah. the, the innermost one. This axis is, uh, you, you could think of it as longitude on the globe. You're staying at a fixed point on the globe and moving along it. Um, uh, sorry, fixed, fixed latitude on the globe and moving along. Um, so, the rotating this, rotating this is rotating about gravity. And what's it? Uh, oh, and the other one is just rotating back to the body's axis. This one, yeah. yeah, yeah. So they can be lined up or not lined up, basically. Right? Uh, Those two things, right? You're showing them lined up now, but they're generally they, they wouldn't be lined up. In most cases, they're not aligned. Uh, or, yeah. 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 Um, the, the precise way to say all of this. But, but then the question when you're at the top of the poles, you said they're moving quickly. But why, is they, why are they moving quickly? I'm at the top of a pole and I'm turning around my, my own body's axis. Why would, I, why would that be turning rapidly? Oh. Trying to decide if I can explain it with this picture or if I should draw it in terms of basis vectors. Because we well, I'm just looking for a very simple explanation. So um, there is a very clear explanation that, that would be convincing to. Um, okay. so, so, this is my this is my up. I, I'm an agent, um, and uh, up is that direction. That's and, my body point of view. Yeah. Okay. And um, and G is suppose G is in a similar like it's it's nearby like this is the direction of this, we'll call this the direction yeah um the global direction of up the 
so it's the opposite of gravity, really. Okay. Yeah, gravity but it's a gravity like thing. Yeah. Uh, now, suppose your rotation, your, your axis of rotation is somewhere over here. Uh, so, I mean, I called this W. But isn't my or, axis, oh, my guess, sorry. I, I guess I'm missing something. Isn't Z just rotating around my body? Yeah. Isn't that the same right there? I mean, isn't that the same as this? I just don't understand how this could change rapidly. Uh, if I'm just moving my body, this would just be linear with my body movement, wouldn't it? You said this changes rapidly at the pole. I'm missing something here. Something very basic. Yeah. You said th these two change very rapidly at the pole. Yeah. Uh, so, but but I, nothing can change rapidly. This or when like, you're when you're close to the pole, movement, other movement that get that brings you toward and away from it. I don't have a full intuition in this picture okay. for why. Well, then that's not. I that's, can explain it with this picture. Well, that's but, not bothering me. I'm okay. just trying to understand it. I, I for, just, for, I'm for, just thinking that is like that is my movement as I turn my body is what I thought, and and that doesn't seem that should just be that should be rapid. It just should be. Um, oh, uh, I'll just uh, just for fullness of it, just in ten seconds, I'll just say that if you want to encode this vector using this basis, yeah. you have to then. Uh, to get to get over there, you need to have this coordinate be very large, and then this coordinate yeah. needs to cancel it out. I can see out. that. I just, uh, I'm trying to. I guess I get that. I'm just. I'm just trying to tr trouble translating it. I think I'm interpreting this picture. That's what I think I am. I, mean, I think you have a different image in your mind where this picture is. Um, I, I would say that I, I I don't have a full intuition for okay, it yet. Okay. I, I can explain it in these terms. I can't I can't quite okay. picture okay. why it is next to the globe when you rotate it a certain way. Suddenly this is fast and this is fast. Okay. I don't know. Right. All right. Yet. So I guess we're both confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. we, we know it's true. We just can't picture it. Okay. Right. Well, you know it's true from that, but intuitively I can't yeah. imagine it yet. So uh, I think I think it's just a matter of interpretation of that drawing um, and how to interpret that. And I'm interpreting it that the agent is just deciding to move. Uh, turning left and right, and therefore it's never going to be super fast. But, but I think it's, it's just going to be some interpretation. I don't think it's worth spending more time at the moment. So this was basically me sh showing. Oh, basically this is stuff that would have gone into Friday's. Yeah, it's just more complete demonstration. Than yeah. yeah, that's great. All right, nice. It may be that one. It's not that you're you're moving faster or slower. It's that the <laughs> Amount you would have to rotate your body in order to stay in order to stay consistent. Yes, that would be okay. So that, that's, that's, that's is greater and greater. Yeah, right? exactly. you're still. But at any point in time, if you want to move at a certain yeah. rate, whether you're at the North Pole or not, doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. But I think rate. that's. I think that's right. That's the sort of interpretation difference. This is not my movement, but what I would have to move to do something. In order to, yeah, how much uh, you have to move in order to stay consistent. Stay consistent with oh, what I'm not sure. Although maybe keep my my head direction self is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, my head direction. I it's along those lines. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. I just felt like when I'm at the north when I'm at the North Pole, in, in this system, no matter where I am, if I just wrote the door, I change my yaw, I just change my, it's gonna be linear movement. That's the yeah. definition of this thing. Yeah. So that's what I was looking at saying, well, one would that change really, but I think the interpretation is I'm trying to maintain something else and therefore maintain that other thing that's to move Um Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's it. So in general, this has just been the. Um, we need some representation of orientation. Here's yeah. one. I'm trying to understand the properties yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And see, see if it works for us. For us. Right. Uh, I got nothing else today. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm back to work tomorrow. I have to get back. Cool. Thanks, Marcus. Cool. Yeah, thank you.